Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to A Knight's Tale. We're in the background. Some strange type of dance is taking place. We are currently holding out in a Batanian city, trying to recover from the very large battle we had in the last. William and his men did a all right job of taking care of the Sturgeon enemy. No doubt there are going to be many more of those enemies out there though, and so we must rest. But just resting is a little boring, isn't it, William? No, as it turns out, there is a tournament here, and we're going to be beginning today's episode by taking place in that tournament. So, my friend, it's time for you to get up off of the seat and head back out there into the world. The arena awaits. And the prize for this tournament is some Highland scale armor, not half bad. Well, it looks like it's mostly one-on-one -on -one fights for the start. We'll place our bets, not getting all that much, but well, <laughs> William, you're getting too well known again, my friend. It looks like we might have to take some losses. We'll see if we can't, uh... oh wow, that was a whole heap of, <laughs> well, Believe me, that was just as bad for me as it was for you. Oh boy, let's hope that in this round that's going to be a little better. Uh, we do seem to be having some texture issues, among other things. Ouch. William. Block, my boy, block. Oh, wow. Oh boy. Well, looks like we... Oh. <laughs> he went flying. Ah, we did enough. So it would seem that uh, Battle Lord's having some texture streaming issues. <laughs> Dear. Well, we're up against a woodrunner in this round. We'll go ahead and place a bet, because why not? And uh, we'll see if we can fare better this fight. We need to get that first strike in, and even then, we still seem to have a few issues. We haven't had any updates, weirdly enough, but um, things seem to be a little, uh, <laughs> a little wilder today. All right, there we go. The final bit, and we'll see how we fare here. It's uh, two-handed weapons the whole way through here, it would seem. And oh, a meaty, a meaty few strikes here. <sighs> but William comes out on top, thankfully striking fast enough. Finnegan, good fighting. We'll take the, uh, <laughs> we'll take the win, uh, get the renown, of course, and uh, yeah, let's see what this arm is like. All right, and uh, wow, while we're here, we can see that we can actually pick up a whole heap of horses, so we'll go ahead and do just that. Uh, that's a heap of mules as well, and Batanian ponies, and just, just all kinds, really. And uh, the mules are still going to count towards us here. Uh, we're going to pick up the lot. This is a, this is a very, very good find for us. Uh, yeah, we'll take all your horses, and I feel like that's probably going to be looking pretty good for us when it comes to horses. Uh, but let's have a look at this armor and see how that uh, stacks up against our own. It's not as good, but it's still pretty good armor. Let's see, Osea, I think, uh, I think that would fit you rather well. Oh, it looks like you were right next to me then. Uh, no, surprisingly not. It's going to have to go to, hmm, let's see, Cad. It's far out. Well, it looks cool, but it's not that great. And I think it's going to be a little bit better than what Arnwin's wearing. A little bit more body protection, but overall that does seem to be better armor. Lacalion, looks like it's your lucky day, my friend there. Oh, yeah, doesn't really protect those arms, does it? And uh, those arms, there ain't a lot on them. Well, all the same, there's a fair bit of funds here now, so we've got a, a fair amount that we can actually sell off. No really good weapons, but... Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of all these arrows and all the other little bits and pieces. Well, we've certainly done some exchanging of goods, as you can see here. Yes, and we still have uh, 24 units, which we're going to have to wait until they are recovered. I am wanting to go and have a look at reducing some of the number of prisoners that we have at the same time. So let's go ahead and have a look at choosing what prisoners we want to be returned to the Batanians here. So we're probably going to want to try and keep the higher tier units where we can. Uh, these are our units. <laughs> So, of course, yes, we're going to be getting rid of looters, uh, the militia archers, they're not going to be too great for us. Uh, so really, anything that's uh, too low down. The brigand and hunters are a maybe. These are tier 3 troops. 
you know what, I think we'll keep those for now. 11 prisoners isn't too bad. We'll see if we can get them to warm up to us as we wait here for a while. While waiting, it is going to give us the chance to recover our smithing stamina and get some smithing done at the same time. So it's kind of a, a win-win for us here, and we'll just keep an eye on the surrounding area. Well, while waiting, we have a hunter that's decided to join us. Welcome for now, and we're just down to 12 of our troops being injured. Well, 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 a castle has been taken, an election has started, and a army has been created all the way up here. Interesting. Yeah, Flintog Castle, the one that we were actually looking at earlier. It looks like they managed to siege it down. We didn't see that siege happening. That would have been a fantastic property for us to go for, but what that's going to do is uh, really cut the Sturgeons off, so Nevansk Castle here is going to have a much harder time doing anything. Unfortunately, we still just have to wait things out for a little bit longer. I would love to go and join this army, but uh, wait until ours is fully recovered first. Oh, and we've spied someone here. Caladog. Looks like we're going to be able to have a chat to you about Noretz's folly. Stop there, stranger. I bet your peace, at least until I find out who you are anyway. My name is William, sir. May I ask yours? I am Caladog, High King of the Batanians. The one thing that you should know about me is that I make a very good friend, and you absolutely do not want me as an enemy. Perhaps you might be able to tell me something about the Battle of Pendraic. <sighs> I am a busy man, but there is always time to talk about the blessed Battle of Pendraic. Our dear beloved King Irel, a wonderful man with a heart perhaps just a mite too tender, did not wish for us to go off to war, but he disappeared and I, his son-in-law, ascended to the kingship. The clans cried out for war. They had a hundred years of crimes against them. I was to avenge them. I, a father to my people, gave them what they wanted. Now, the Empire uses tricks and traps and war. No Batanian fears to meet an Imperial soldier man to man. But, we thought it would be a good laugh to use their tricks against them. So we laid an ambush on both sides of the wooded pass, wouldn't you know it? And they marched right into it. They turned and twisted as our arrows rained down upon them. Like fish going frantic in a pond. As you draw the net all the tighter. Then, when they were greatly discomforted, we took up our falxes and swords and reaped the harvest. Oh, there was some unpleasantness later with the Sturgeons, about the very spoils of war, but a grand old day it was. And so we've learnt a little bit more of that battle, similar to what we've heard so far. Well, it looks like we have an opportunity to vote upon who is going to become the new uh, owner of Lintog Castle. Holy crap. A lot of them are voting for us. I mean, we don't have a fife yet to our name. Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. So four are voting already. We have some kind of good relation we could put in some of our own to vote for this. Right now, I feel like we would win it. Do we need to use? If we abstain, I mean, maybe it's worth it here. Hang on, oh, is it the chance or? Because that seemed to drop it down. It went down to 49%, it was just on 50%. Uh, I mean, he has a lot of uh, sway, it would seem. You know what? I feel like it's... Um, I feel like it's fair that we abstain from this vote. If they wish to offer it to us, then we'll accept it, but we're not going to try and sway the vote. Done. <laughs> Flintog Castle has been given to William from Ector. <laughs> with equal support on all sides. They all agreed in it. Wow. Flintog Castle. That's the prosperity of it and the amount of defenders that are currently there. <laughs> we've got a castle. Well, we've got to go see that. Uh, oh boy. 
Well, I guess we'll be waiting there, huh? Well, look, before we leave here, are there any troops we can recruit? Because we are a little under our limit still, I think. We've got uh, eight troops that are still wounded. Let's have a look. Um, go to the Tavern District. We can get 14 Mercenary Guard. Let's pick them up. All right, and uh, we're going to ride on towards our new castle. Um, yeah, we own Flintog as well, this village here. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, and there's another we can talk to here. Well, <laughs> let's have a quick chat, eh? Melodia, I see. Hmm, you don't look Batanian. You might have swapped sides here. Aye, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is William, sir. May I ask yours? I am Melodia, one of the ancient lineages of the Batanians. I am Lord of Carb and Seth. Okay, you are Batanian. There we go. I don't suppose you could tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic. Well, King Caladog's great victory. We're going to swap his voice a little bit here. Who would say anything to tarnish its shine? King Errol disappeared while hunting and Caladog becomes the king. He leads the tribes to war. Oh, we were eager enough, even though Errol made a truce with the Emperor. Uh, sealed by oaths. When we were dazzled with the prospect of vengeance, who cares about sacred word and honour? The ambush, masterfully planned and executed, that no one can deny. But I'll also not deny that the Sturgeons fought the main body of the Imperial forces, and the Vlandians fought their famous cavalry. So, I don't think the greatest glory went to the sons of Batania. At the end of the day, what have we gained? The Sturgeons hate us worse than ever, the Vlandians too. The Empire, I suppose, is shattered. What can I say? I believe that wars should have a goal, but I am a minority, it seems. Among our people, that is. Thank you, my well, dear. And just like that, that is another Lord, and we will quickly have a look at uh, how far we've progressed along here. We've talked to five nobles, we need to talk to another five, and then report back to our very young brother, Nogand. Nogand is definitely our older brother, let's not pay much attention to him only being in his twenties. <laughs> On towards Flintolk. Oh, wow! Daily gold change, minus 4,000. Why was that? Why was that minus 4,000? I think it might have been, because we're getting positive from Flintold Castle. That's good. Workshop income. And then party wages for the garrison in Flintold was minus 445. So I don't know why that dropped down so low then. Unless it was the mercenaries that we just picked up. Maybe they are incredibly expensive. Let's have a look at the mercenary guard. Um, can I actually tell how much you cost us per... Uh, oh, your wage. Okay, your wage is five per unit. That's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Yeah, not a problem. And uh, a soldier? We'll go ahead and uh, bring you on. I think we are still within our limits here. Yes, we are. Of 98. Okay. On towards our town. Let's make sure those looters stay away from us. And uh, unfortunately, it has been raided just recently, so yeah. Burnt out houses. It's going to take a while for that to rebuild. On towards our bloody castle then. And we have arrived. And what a castle. It looks like it's a fully wooden garrison. So the question is, who did this belong to originally? I'm not sure. I imagine it probably was Batanian. But then again, most of the Sturgeon castles, are they wood? Yeah, they seem to be primarily, so maybe the Sturgeons did always have a foothold here, but it's one of those positions where I don't know how that would have, um, yeah, I imagine it's always been a point of contention. So, we are going to have a walk around here, we can use the dungeon, which is fantastic, we can also manage the garrison and manage the castle. Let's see, let's start off with manage the castle and see what that does for us. So, we can elect a governor. Right, we are probably going to want to have a governor here. We can see that a militia grounds is underway. It provides battle training for citizens and recruits them into a militia. Each level increases the daily militia recruitment. Good. We can see that it's got a, a wall. This is within the queue at this stage. The barracks is next. Lodgings for the garrison troops increases the garrison capacity of the stronghold. Very nice. We have toll collector three, which is 
plus 30% bonus to taxes, plus 50 bonus to wall repair speed. This, the Castellan's office is uh, reduced militia during rebellion. Okay, that's good. Hopefully no rebellions. And a granary gives plus 300 to the uh, food limit here. And the food, we've got none right now, which isn't fantastic. Daily defaults. Okay, how do these apply? Construct housing so that more folks can settle, increasing population. Schedule drills for commoners, increasing the militia recruitment. This is uh, increasing settlement loyalty, which is pretty high already, or irrigation. Provides irrigation, increasing growth in bound villages. That might be what we're after because we, we're gonna need food here. Probably a whole heap of it. We don't have much at this stage. Boosting a project adds plus 20 construction and okay, a certain amount per day. We could probably afford something like that, but you know, I think we'll just kind of see how that goes. Do we want that to be increased? Hmm. Security is 100 at this stage. I don't know if it goes higher than that. I imagine it does because prosperity is a thing. I think I want to have a look at irrigation. I mean, it's a very small increase, but I've got to think it's going to help a little bit. And then as for a governor, we could apply someone to be a governor here. So we can see that Lacalion, if we had Lacalion here, would have plus 15% faster building production. The rest of them have no effect at the stage. So whether or not we can... Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to keep Lacalion with us, but at the same time, getting things built here faster might actually be more of what we want. Lacalian, you're now the uh, the governor of this place. Yes, and I wonder if that changes things for us. Let's have a look at our clan really quick. So he is still considered to be a companion, so we are still limited. Right, we're going to have to try and keep that in mind. Yeah, well... That's one part. Managing the garrison is another. So, we can see the troops that are here. They're Orvlandian troops, a whole mixture of them. Um, we've got some mercenary crossbowmen here. I'm tempted to drop the mercenaries that we just picked up, the mercenary guard. Drop them into here. There's 14 of them, so I think, um, yeah, dropping them all into there is a little better. 101. I believe that they're not going to cost as much keeping them in places like this. And we don't want to have an absolutely massive army as well. Uh, we want to have a little bit more than what we have at the moment, but yeah, <laughs> I know. Are you excited? I'm excited to look around this place. We've actually got a fair amount of influence at the moment. That's good as well. We'll have a look around the Lord's, the Lord's Hall, but first of all, we, we need to take a walk around the castle. We need to see this thing from the outside. I, I'm excited. I don't know if you can tell this, but I wasn't anticipating us having a castle this kind of early on so it gives us a focus goal it gives us a point which we can defend and uh, i'm going to try and do the best for our people yeah gone are the days of riding very very far away we'll give it a second for the uh, the sound to kick in because for some reason it always seems to take just a moment we've got a great old watchtower in the distance there that is uh, not looking so hot and this, this is our new home. It's very, very snowy. But yeah, that's our Lord's Hall up there. Quite a castle. Quite a castle. And I think it's a similar design to one that we've actually sieged before. Which is, um, you know, a little frightening. Considering that uh, castle fell to our enemies. Hey there, Vlandian recruit. Yeah, we are having some big troubles today with uh, various kinds of stagger. Unfortunately, this is one of the drawbacks of games and early access, as they aren't always going to perform as you want them to. Yeah, that's our, that's our hall all the way up there, and I'm not sure how we'd actually get to it from here. We can see, right, it is up in that direction there. All the rest of our companions are spread throughout the town. The dungeon is down that way. And I think we might be accessing the Lord's Hall from around here. We'll do the full walkthrough. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why we are feeling this burn right now. These occasional stutters. But 
hopefully that uh, isn't something that's going to stick with us throughout this episode. All right. Quite an emblem as well. A bear. That looks more Batanian than Sturgeon, maybe. Let's head inside all the same. This is the first time we will have been inside a Lord's Hall at all. And uh, hopefully we can make it in here without too much trouble. It seems to be loading fine. And here we are. Not bad, William. Not bad. I like it. And that's some better atmospheric sounds. For some reason they just didn't really seem to want to play outside. But this... This ain't half bad. We could get used to this. I mean... We've got our banners up here. It's just all wood. It's, it's really quite cool. Having all of the oil lamps in here with all the wood is a little, uh, well, makes me a little anxious, but how does that feel, dude? We were not anticipating this. <laughs> we really were not. Wow. Okay. William, how far we have risen. All right. Well, I think it's about time that we uh, hop on out of the seat, get back to work. And uh, I think before we do, I'm going to have a full system restart, see if I can figure out what's going on with these little stutters. And uh, I'm going to watch some things about managing settlements because, uh, yeah, we haven't done that in Bandalord yet. And, well, I think we're going to need to take good care of this one. So there are a few things that we need to have a look at here. We actually have two villages that are bound to here. Glintor is producing ponies and Flintolg is producing grapes. Fantastic. The biggest issue that we have at the moment is that uh, this place is starving because it's just been sieged down. So the prosperity and the garrison are having negative effects on our food here. We're not having any positive effects right now. So we need to try and change that. And uh, well, our governor's culture is giving a bit of a minus here because Lacalian is, uh, well, I'm pretty sure Lacalian is from the Empire. So there's that. What I want to try and do, first of all, is look at working on some gardens. Yeah, I think so. Because that's going to increase the food production overall, and it's going to help them just get back up and going. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can change this queue. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, can we add you? Right, I see. I don't know if I can remove you from the queue here. Ah, that's focusing just on this one. So let's do that. Just just gardens is what we want to be working on at the moment. And I actually want to boost this project. So it adds 20 construction and costs 250 gold per day. Right, how much do we want to put into this? Is this how many how much bonus or how much gold do we want to put into this? I think we could probably look at putting maybe 2,000 gold in. I hope this isn't a big mistake that we're making here. So, that's a whole heap of gold in the reserve. Well, a whole heap. It's something in the reserve, so this should help with that. It's going to be completed in 15 days, so we want to try and see if we can help that along. Uh, I do... I would like to see the barracks get made eventually, but I think we're going to try and focus on... Yeah. Garrison capacity is certainly better. Hmm... We're going to go for militia grounds after. We're going to be coming back lots so we can change these things around and try and see if we can figure out exactly where we want to have them. There's a massive supply that we can have of food here. But yeah, we just need to get food before anything else. So, I don't think we can trade any food to our castle. The only thing that might actually help is taking the garrison out of here. Or at least uh, limiting the amount that they have. Which is a little dangerous, I'll be honest. Uh, I mean, I guess we could take the mercenary guard back for now. Yeah. And see if that's had any effect. It's still, it's still minus 18. And a lot of that's because of the prosperity. And the prosperity is dropping because of the food shortage. So we want to try and rectify that as fast as possible. Um, Flintog, unfortunately... Oh, hang on. No, I think you are... I think you're looking okay. 
And so, yeah, there's Glintor all the way down here as well. Let's go see if we can have a, uh, well, I was going to say we could have a talk to them, but I think we want to try and see if we can track down these looters first because they're nice and close and, well, 41 of them, we can't have them around on our lands. All right, so this is the battlefield we're looking at and, uh, well, it's not amazing. But it's not terrible at the same time. Let's get our archers out the front here. And we want to make sure that they are nice and loose. We're going to get our cavalry out towards the outer edge. And as for our footmen, we'll get you just behind for now. And get you ready to move up as soon as we uh, need you to. What is that? Crossbows get their first strike off. Oh boy. Wow. We're not liking this so far. Cavalry, let's just infantry. get you further back. Throw your spears. And infantry, let's get you charging now. Charge! Same thing with our cavalry. And let's get chasing. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. So, even after, uh, yeah, a full restart, for some reason, Mountain Blade is still not very happy with us. It does seem to be a texture issue, more than anything else. Which is interesting, considering I am running this on an SSD. And one would think that, uh, that would have the necessary speed to stream these various textures. But perhaps I'm wrong. But I think a lot of it is just due to, uh, optimization just not really being there yet. But I feel like that was a pretty optimized fight. <laughs> and I think we've only got one left over here. Let's see if we can charge them down. And done. Battle won. And I feel like that went pretty well for us. We did have someone die. A Volgir, really, our top tier unit. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> well, you win some, you lose some. We'll go ahead and take all of those prisoners. Prisoners that we'll probably try to add to our castle. We'll gain three influence from that fight, so... Alright, that's something. And it looks like we do have uh, something we can do over in the character menu here. We'll take all of that. Thank you very much. And... Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Just before we do, I want to have a look at this. Footmen on horses. Pretty good bonus. I don't know whether or not we have everyone on horses yet, but I feel like we've got quite a few, so we might be close. Ah, it was in polearm. What do we want to look at here? We've got horse killer or uh, footwork. Hmm. Combat movement speed while wielding a polearm. Honestly, uh, hmm, I think we might go for this. Weirdly, we usually aim for people, which makes a lot of sense, but sometimes if we are up against a heavily armored opponent, getting them off that horse might be the best thing for us to do. So, yeah, quite often we aren't going to be on foot wielding a polearm, so we'll pick that one up for now, see if we can't get that higher. Well, with that, we'll quickly return back to the castle and drop off those uh, various prisoners that we have. Let's see. To the dungeon. And, uh, we'll manage these prisoners. Okay, so we can drop off people here. We'll go ahead and drop all these looters into the dungeon for the time being. We could drop the rest of them, but I'm kind of still wanting to get some of them on board, so we'll just keep them in there for now. And, uh... We can get food to our castle, but we're going to have to do it through our villagers. Let's see how Flintock is doing. It looks like it's recovered a little bit. Ooh. Okay, Uruk. You might be trouble. We'll keep our eyes out for the Sturgeon enemy. And uh, it looks like Uruk has his eyes on us. No, unfortunately, we are still in that process of rebuilding. Glintor might be what we have to have a look at. And Uruk, you seem to be running from Stein, maybe? Maybe not. 4.4. Yeah, you are running. I wonder if we could combine our efforts. The Batanians aren't a uh, ally at the moment, but uh, they, they might be interested in a fight. Let's hope. 
Okay, and yes, it looks like Sign here. Sign? Sane is willing to assist us in this fight. Very good. All right, well, we've got a nice clear battlefield here. We'll see how this uh, <laughs> goes for us. We'll get you Lost nice and loose first, and we'll get our archers to move up Forward. alongside the infantry. Forward. And our infantry, infantry. get that Make nice shield, shield wall. wall, and we're going to get you moving infantry. up with them. Move. Cavalry, we're going to get you right Forward. off towards the side. Forward. All right, looks like the initial cavalry charge is here. We'll help if we can. All right, that's a brigand down. And we'll be lucky if we're not down as well. Oh, excellent work, archers. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's get you up here, archers. Let's start moving up. We do vastly outnumber them. They definitely want to try and get our troops into the mix as well. Cavalry up on the hill. Archers! Move! Move! Let's just keep everyone moving for now. The Batanians are going to be going in first. It looks like they are kind of circling up. Let's try and see if we can get archers. our archers off towards the side here. Try that. Nice big long line, thank you. I don't know if they're going to be facing the right way, but <laughs> I think we'll find out soon enough. We're just going to get the infantry to charge in now, because I'm pretty sure they're going to be charging. Alright. They have matched numbers, so... They should be alright. Let's get those archers up on the hill if we can. Our infantry's charging. We'll help where we can. Alright, all misses. Could have been better. All right, I think the Batanians have got this. <laughs> We're here for that good old moral support. Let's chase them down. Looks like the others are actually taking off units that's uh, broken. Let's charge after the others. Most of the recruits by the looks of things. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a slaughter. You're making some interesting sounds there, friend. Oh, it's right on the edge. What are you doing? Well, I believe that's all of them. And we really didn't get involved in that fight at all, but... Well... <laughs> we survived it. Yeah. We didn't lose a single person. We only had 14 kills. Our mercenary guard did okay. I feel like that was a decidedly safe fight. Let's see, who do we want to grab? We won't grab everyone. I mean, we could, and then just kind of pass them on. We'll pick up the brigand, sure. And the hunter. The rest can go. Yeah. And let's see. We'll pick up everything for now. And I think we did get some upgrades, so we'll have a look at them outside of here. Yes. Okay, we've got a footman. We're going to upgrade you to a spearman. As for our Vlandian recruit, we'll upgrade you to a footman. We'll just keep on working through here. A Batanian hero. Fantastic. Top tier. Excellent. Get another crossbowman there. And... Uh, there's mercenary guards, mercenary swordsmen or crossbowmen. I wouldn't mind having some really decent uh, crossbowmen here because, well, they were doing a pretty good job in that fight, so get them upgraded. Happy with that, and yeah, we're looking at a daily party wage of 588. We can manage that. And with that victory, we will ride on here, but I am seeing that there's a militia here now, so it makes me think that the settlement has been rebuilt. I could be wrong. Let's see. Flintog, yeah, I guess we can't do anything with it yet, but uh, it's slowly starting to recover. Let's hope that uh, this one is looking a little bit better. And then, well, <laughs> we'll have to see if the food situation there is even close to being okay. Yes, uh, oh, that's a much better daily gold change. 
we can take that. And it looks like someone wants to join up. The Sturgeon Hunter. All right, we'll welcome you into the ranks. And uh, we'll see what the condition of this town is. And sure enough, it has also been raided just recently. So yeah, unfortunate, very unfortunate. We're gonna have to keep a close eye on those. And uh, well, we have no way of selling food to our castle at the moment so it's going to be in a little bit of a precarious position we could probably look at trying to pick up some extra food in carbon synth here i think that might be worth it and we'll keep an eye on these towns here as well just to see if the sturgeons have anyone else popping down to uh, see us well it does look like we're going to be able to purchase a whole heap of food and uh, that's exactly what i intend to do just purchase a whole heap of it so that we'll be able to sell that on to our villagers and you know it'll keep us fed for the time being as well well we sold a whole heap and uh, bought a whole heap of food for them some hardwood as well and wouldn't you know it there is a tournament here an armored bearskin on the line well i think a little bit of a break might be worth it but we don't want to be away for too long and that bearskin is looking nice it is a cape apparently excellent well we'll go ahead and skip through all of these first rounds place our terrible bet and uh, see how we fare against this batanian hero looks like we are ooh, going head to head with two-handed weapon in our hand Wow, okay. <laughs> well, we don't have a lot of skill, but enough. Okay, we've got a recruit on our team. That ain't much, but gotta hope that you'll help us a little bit. Well, you served a really good distraction, my friend. Looks like we're up against the green team now, and they're pretty well armored. Nice miss. Not enough to kill, not yet. Oh boy. A sergeant and Gerald. <laughs> we weren't touched once. It's probably a good thing, really, because uh, you get hit with this blade and it's gonna hurt. Thankfully, we're up against the recruit that was our ally in the last. Wow! See what I mean? That hurts a lot. God damn. And we're in the final against Gerald. Gerald, don't hold back, my friend. We won't. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that was a little tense. <laughs> but the victory is ours. The renown is ours. And we will take that bearskin. Let's have a look. Okay. Well, it weighs more. It doesn't give us arm on a armor. Well, it weighs more and it doesn't give us arm armor, but it's, it's cool. I like it. It doesn't quite go with the armor that we have at the moment, but I feel like, yeah, extra body is probably worth it. Yeah, I mean, it clips with the shield a little bit, but I think we can make that work, can't we? Let's see, where did our other one go? Yeah, let's go ahead and put that on you, and we'll give the cape to someone else. Actually, the cape isn't amazing, but I think it's, uh, it's at least a bit better than that. Yeah, only four. And that's three. It's a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. I feel like that's divvied out properly. Well, we can pick up some hired blades here for 8,000. You know what? I'm half tempted to just ransom off our prisoners and pick up some of them. Let's do it. As, uh, yeah. Well, it's actually increased our roguery skill a little bit there. It's cost us a bit, but I feel like that's worth it. We have so much in the way of resources that if we do want to increase our funds, we can just look at creating some more masterworks. I think our numbers are okay at the moment. Let's just have a quick look at our party and see if we're over or under. We are still under at this stage. Good. So I think what we're going to have to try and do is just patrol around our area until our towns are nice and healed once we can actually start to get some food back to Flintog. Well, I've spotted some looters down here. I think we might be able to... No. No, we can't. We do have a caravan going through here. And we see that our gold change is... Uh, well, we're losing money now, but we're not losing it that bad. Yeah. With all the expenses that we have coming out of here, we're still doing pretty good. The workshop income is really starting to help out. And we're getting tributes. Tributes from the Northern Empire, the Batanians, and the Azerai. Interesting. Unfortunately, 
our food situation here is still not good. There's no quick and easy way for us to rectify that. That caravan, though, is tempting. We'll push them back for the time being, and let's have a look at uh, managing the castle once more. So, our gardens are getting further along. We can actually see how far it is at the moment. 11 days of construction. We still have, um, okay, at least a fair amount of extra boosting time left. Lacalion, you're still helping us out. That's good. The militia is increasing, but unfortunately food and loyalty is dropping, so we might have a revolt of some kind here. And that's all due to this food shortage. If I could just drop food off here, I'd be happy with that, but unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a way for us to do that. We do have our bound villagers, we can't do anything with them at the moment now either, so we're, we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of stuck. We're just going to have to focus on that. I mean, that is nearly done, but um, yeah, that's got to be what we're after for the time being. If only we could get them food. <laughs> yeah, the main issue is just these villagers being, well, out of commission. I think we're just going to have to wait around the area, make sure that no one comes through here. So we're going to be guarding, I think, more than likely this area here, because I don't think they can pass over the rocks. So, staying in and around this position should give us a good view of uh, any potential enemies. You know what, we could probably just wait in our castle for a while. Let's do it, and just keep an eye out on the area around us. Another caravan. Okay. Oh, okay, we have an army. We would want to try and assist them, but first things first, let's make sure that this is... Um, well, at least a little safe. I'm just looking at the map now and we are so isolated here. <laughs> I really hope that Navansk Castle gets taken because, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a hard time otherwise. Ah, but hey, we're still moving up in the world, aren't we? I gotta think with them making that army that they've, they're looking at uh, taking down Navansk. Would be good would be good. Oh wow, we have a army here. Where are you lot heading to? Besieging Mazadan Castle. How close is that? Well, it's all the way over there. There's uh, quite a bit in between there. You know what? I think we'll probably try to follow if we can. There ain't much we can do here at the moment. The food stocks looks like it's going up ever so slowly. Our defenders are increasing as well. We're getting more militia. I mean, that's nice. It's good to know that they, you know, have a, a kind of decent kind of protective unit around here. You know what? We'll catch up with you. I think we're going to try and track down these 14 looters first. It looks like we're going to be able to. And I'm actually going to do this fight differently. We are going to send in our troops. And, uh, yeah, we only had one knocked unconscious and we had a few upgrades here so we can simulate these fights because they are going to be a lot smaller well 109 plundered gold we got some prisoners out of that and i imagine we did get uh yeah a few bits and pieces from us good we'll take it well let's see if we can catch up with the uh the army that was making their way across here mazadan castle right let's see well there they are. They're still on their way over. I just hope that no one crosses that bridge while we're gone. Yeah, they're slow movers. Well, we'll assist them if we can, because we do have a duty, after all. We'll try and keep looters away from the rear of them. Yeah. And I think the siege is going to start. There it is. We've got ourselves a siege camp. All right. Let's keep a very close eye on here, and I think actually we will get involved, but what I want to do first is just track these locations. So I'm hoping that if anything in particular happens, we'll kind of get notified. <laughs> That's my hope at the very least. Let's get this thing started. You yes, our view of the area is going to be a little limited, and we well outnumber them. 
Let's hope they can get this thing built relatively fast and that they won't take too long making the various different siege weapons that they'll use. And the siege camp is complete. And I think they're probably just going to be making weapons now. I don't see any siege weapons popping up yet. Time is still passing by. Are you just going to try and starve them out? I mean, they've actually got zero days worth of food. They might be able to do it. Huh. Quite possibly. I'm trying to keep an eye on our provinces at the same time. Trying to see if anything's being raided or if we get word of that. We gained a point in engineering and finally, yeah, it looks like we are working on some things here. Apparently William has been assisting in that, <laughs> surprisingly enough. We've definitely got the coolest portrait going on here. Oh, and they're besieging now. Okay, well they've got a ram. Sure, let's do it. Let's move in. Let's attack. Or send in the troops. No. We want to see what's going to go on here. And can we? Yes, I think we can. Hopefully we can do this. I want to swap out William's, uh, William's weapons. Let's go to shields and ranged. And we're going to change out, yes, that and that. All right, William, let's see how we do. Okay, and here we are. Ranged and ranged are skirmishing sparsely. Okay, infantry and infantry are doing something with siege weapons. And this is the castle that we are sieging today. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite contained. I like it. So we've got ladders on both sides and obviously the ram is going to be going for the center there. We'll try and see if we can position ourselves behind one of these uh, barricades and do some firing. As for our own troops, I don't know how many of us are actually going to be in this fight. We're going to begin the assault and uh, yeah, we'll see how we fare. We'll ride on up and look at that. There are some of our troops there pushing in with the ram and others are back here. They will do their own thing and I'm okay with that. Let's go and jump off our horse if we can. I probably should have stopped a little faster. Let's change out to this. See what we can do here, William. Huh? Oh boy. All right, well, we're already locked and loaded, so. Okay, yep, we need to fire a lot higher. <laughs> Note to self. All right, that's a hit. Take one down if we can. Aim a little higher. Ugh. Off towards the side. All right, here we go. Better. Still no headshot. More damage. One of them will go down eventually. Alright, we're seeing more of them drop. Good. And it looks like they are on the move. Alright, we've got the ladders up. Let's look at moving in ourselves. Take some shots while we can. Damn it. Alright, they're moving on down. We can assist with some more crossbow shots. Oh boy, I don't like them looking down on us like that. There we go. Let's get this ladder up, eh? And I think we might have to go first person for this. William leading the charge over here. Oh boy. How many do we have waiting? Not too many yet. We want our shield up. Oh boy. Come on. I'm going to catch you eventually. Got you, lad. Oh, okay. Hit in the rear. That's okay. Watch our side. We've got quite a few beneath us. All right, William. Let's not be too wild. Yeah, there's lots of them waiting down there for our troops to push in. We'll help up this way if we can. I don't think they'll expect us. Or maybe they will. Okay, yes they will. They will certainly expect us. Drop off the wall. Alright. Back up, William. <laughs> okay. Let's make our way back up. Alright, here we go. Another down. Oh, ow, rough. And we are getting surrounded. We're gonna go down. 
and that we do. Oh, rough. But we still have the numbers here, and those numbers are about to push on through this gate. William, you might be down, but the fight is not over. The fight is just beginning. We do need to remember to be a little cautious in these fights because, uh, well, we can die for good. <laughs> and that's the last thing that we'd want to have happen. We're actually doing a pretty decent job of holding these walls for now, pushing down these ladders. It seems like a lot of them can't really decide what to do yet. It's this gate here that they're struggling with. It's got to drop any moment now by the looks of things. Let's keep a close look on it. The left flank's definitely weaker. Perhaps if we stood there for a little longer we would have fared better. But here comes the rush. So it seems, as long as that main gate can hold, they can actually do a pretty damn good job, but as soon as the troops get inside, that's where things start to fall apart for them. Their fortifications are no longer an advantage, and their numbers will wane. It's got to be nearly all of them. Who's left? Ha! Huh, one up here. Ah, oh, there's a few. And they'll drop. A few fights going on up on this side. I can't imagine them surviving for much longer as the rest of them push on through. One defender holds out. And then it's just this lot over here. I think they're the very last. There's three of them. Surely they know what's up. That it's time to uh, surrender. Perhaps not. Oh, damn. We got kicked out of there. That's it. It's a victory. The battle is won. Let's check in on the cost, and we'll do that a little bit further away from them here, just so it's not as noisy. All right, so we lost eight in the fight. Eleven were knocked unconscious. William, thankfully, wasn't one of the dead. We'll check in with the rest, though. I'm always nervous about our companions. It looks like none of them were here. Oh, actually, no, they were at the top, and Arnwin. Hunt was survived with the kill. And Osea actually, uh, yeah, got a little bit more skill. Fantastic. We'll take it. Ah, let's see, Ospia. I don't think we've met properly before, my friend. You just saved my life out there, and I still don't know your name. My name is William, sir. Well met, William. My name is Ospia, and I am forever in your debt. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. Well, thank you. I'm glad. Uh, we have some prisoners here. We'll take the veteran bowmen, and we will take none of the others. Yeah, we'll let the rest of them all go, and wow, we do have some recovery to do. And, ah, we actually managed to recover some of the equipment, some of the loot. We'll take all of it for now, and, well, <laughs> we're going to have to very carefully make our way back. It's fallen. We may station a garrison here to defend it against enemies who may recapture it. Okay, well, we won't worry about that for now, but, uh, yeah, the voting has started for that already, because I think they want to quickly get someone back into it. We, however, are going to start riding back, because we're going to need to recover. Let's check in with that party. Okay, so we have some upgrades. We've got a building, fantastic. And as for our infantry, I think we are going to go for some more infantry because we've got quite a few spearmen that have gone through and are being upgraded along the way. A sharpshooter is always welcome. Unfortunately, we just have the, what? No, no, we've got five now, fantastic. Good, upgrade the three of you and our levy crossbowmen there. 
and our mercenary guard. What do we want? Yeah, more, more crossbowmen. I think we've pretty much got to turn them all into that. The hired blades are pretty decent by the looks of things. I should have had a closer look to see exactly who did what in the last fight, but overall, yeah, not bad. We didn't really lose that much. And it looks like we can vote for the owner. And I'll be intrigued to see who they are nominating for that. Let's have a look. Uh, it will be automatically resolved, but we might as well look at doing that now. Wow, okay. <laughs> Apparently we're rather popular. I mean, we were in that fight. We were the one that pushed over the wall valiantly and stupidly. Um, so, Deathert, our king. Hmm. So, this is what he thinks. Right, I see. He thinks it should go to De Murdoch. Um, Hickard thinks the thief should go to De Molan. Um, hmm. We already have some backing. Again, I think we're going to play it by ear. We're not going to push for something like this. We are going to abstain from the vote. Oh, if we abstain, it just goes in the favor. I, uh, yeah, hmm. No, I think we're going to abstain on this. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I, I am fine with that. Reason being, it's, uh, it's quite far away. Um, so, Deathert, are you De Murdoch? You are. Okay, so, kind of makes sense that it would go to you. Perhaps you've got a better chance of protecting it. If we had two castles, like, I, I, I'd be all for Nevansk, and it's actually under siege at the moment. Who is it under siege by? Aldrich, Varman, Varten. You know what? I don't know if we'll be able to make it to that in time. I mean, we're certainly not healthy enough, but we could, we could try. <laughs> we can stop by our castle to see how things are looking. Food stocks are still terrible. That's not great. <laughs> we'll do a quick management to see how things are. All right, yeah, and loyalty is zero, as is to be expected. If our, if our villages weren't destroyed, we would have been able to sort this out already. Seven days until that's done, and we can start getting a little bit of food production going back. If we're fast, there's a small chance we might be able to make it. It looks like someone's wanting to join. We'll check back on them. We're close. The siege is going, the army's dropping, and we've made it. All right, let's help. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's 22 of them. <laughs> I think we'll send in the troops. Yeah. Um, how did how did we fare out of that? We gained a little bit of renown and influence. William's party. Wow, there's a lot of parties here. I mean, were we at the top? Varman's party. No, we didn't even figure into that, it seems. Oh no, William's party. Here we go. Um, 82? Wow. 82 kills? Wait, what? Oh no, that's our number. I'm being dumb. <laughs> I'm being very dumb. Five. Yeah, okay, well that's a decent number, right? Okay, well we did something. <sighs> Thanks for your help, stranger. We haven't met properly yet, have we? What's your name? My name is William. Well, what? William, I'm Ultrick. Thanks for your help. I hope we can meet again. All right, well... That's a, that's a little bit of something. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up the brigand. The rest of them can disappear for now, as far as I'm concerned. And we'll pick up what little was left from there. Okay, and a castle election has started. Well, <laughs> we'll see how we do there. I'm going to stop by Glintor along the way. We can see that quite a few prisoners have been dropped off there. They do seem to like to keep their prisoners in castles. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe that's something we should start doing. Unfortunately, we're still all burnt out there. Ah, very unfortunate. Actually, let's have a look at our party. We did have an alert before. Oh, it's a looter. Well, yeah, the looters are going into our prison and it looks like there is another vote. It'll finish in 46 hours, but we'll see. Well, <laughs> yeah, looks like this one is going to be going to Death Earth as well. You know what? I'm sure he's de deserving of this. We're going to abstain from the vote. Uh, 
yeah, because we don't want to use our influence on that. We're going to save that influence up. While it would be very nice to have that castle, we cannot outdo that. Um, I suppose he just really, really wanted it for himself, and that's okay. We have enough to take care of for now. It looks like we might have, uh, um, well, something of an insurrection on our hands eventually here. Yeah, five more days and the gardens will be built and it looks like we are out of our little boost here. I'm going to go ahead and boost it up again just by another 2,000 thereabouts because uh, we're, all, we're going to make sure that those other projects get sped up as well. Two days! That's actually really quite good. <laughs> I just got to hope that these, uh, yeah, they're going to be back soon. Maybe it's a full month for them to rebuild. We're really going to have to be careful in the future making sure that these villages don't get raided because... Uh, yeah, they are crucial to this town. Well, Legionnaires, we are going to be wrapping up there for today. William, you've done well for yourself, my friend. Let's see if we can hold on to this castle. I mean, it's nice. It's really nice. It's cozy. It's yours for now. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like or a comment to let me know if you enjoyed the show. If you have any advice when it comes to running this wonderful place, I'll be more than welcome to hear it. For now, I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.